We'll open this. Plop in a bag. 70 degrees. Making tea for cats. Making tea for cats. Tea for cats. Tea for cats. Do -do -do -do. Stop. Okay. Hi there. I'm James. I play games. I'm going to be playing the demo for Pico, which at the time of recording does not have an official release date. It still says the second quarter of 2023, so sometime in the spring perhaps, which fits really well with what the game is about. You are managing a tea house and serving to cat customers. No part of that sentence do I hate, so I cannot wait to play it. Let's start the demo. A fresh start is exactly what I need. A new chapter in my life. A slower pace. A smaller town. I wonder what Pico will be like. The advertisement didn't say much. Seems too good to be true. <laughs> uh, points to the designer of this uh, of this ad. I, I, I really love that cat drawing. That's adorable. <laughs> I hope this isn't a scam. So do I. Now arriving in Pico. Oh, we're arriving now. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Time to start on a new adventure. Oh. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait. I... Hello. Oh. Your name is Taffy. Howdy there and welcome. I haven't seen you around before. You must be new to our town. My name is Taffy Bartholomew, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Is this the best place ever? <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Trick question. It definitely is. Fine, kitty. You're in the demo, uh, town of Pico. Oh, wow. We're currently undergoing some renovations, so it doesn't quite look like the brochure. But I'm sure it'll be in tip-top shape in no time. I am getting shades of Animal Crossing, and what's his name? The raccoon who just, um, who just latches a huge bill onto you as soon as you move in? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting very concerned about this cat. Taffy. Pico is a small town filled with passionate tea makers. There's all kinds of tea houses here to satisfy whatever tea craving you might have. This very tea house is expecting a new owner soon. Arriving on the next train, actually. Oh wait! Are you the new owner? That's me! I'd love to get to know you better. If you could fill this form out quickly, it'll help me out a lot. Okay. My name is James. My birthday is winter of the lucky number three. Winter the third. He, him. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, he, him. I appreciate that. Um, is that... I don't want to use the word accessibility, but I do appreciate the extension of the pronoun. Oh, the inclusion of the pronouns. That's nice. Wow. Thank you, James. What nice penmanship. I've been told that in real life, by the way. I should, I should, maybe I should upload a sample of write, actual writing. I don't know, we'll think about that. I run the local post office, so I see a lot of handwriting. If you don't mind me asking, what drew you to our town? To meet new people? Eh. To be closer to nature? Okay. To have more independence? Hmm. To have more independence. Great! I've made a note of that. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> Storylines, branching narrative. No. Why don't we go inside and take a look at our, at our... No, at your new tea house. Oh, crumbs. You don't have anything unpacked yet, though. Do you? You'll definitely need some teaware before we can make tea. Here, I thought you'd like this modern tea set. Uh... A modern starter tea set. A tea set. <laughs> a polished ceramic and wood tea set. 
Very stylish. Yes, a teaser. You'll need some tea and a few ingredients to get started, too. Let me help. You've received a Sam tea bag. You've received white sugar cubes. You've received cow milk. Now we can get started making some tea. Oh, sugar cookies. Great Grandma Toffee says I'm a little overenthusiastic sometimes. I just love pico and tea. Did you want to make some tea now or settle in a bit first? Let's make tea or settle in. Heck no, let's make tea. I, I, genu I genuinely am craving some tea right now. <laughs> a nice cup of mint or jasmine would be great. Great, let's get started. Yay, the art style is diabetes-inducing adorable. I, I love it. Very simplistic, though, or is it... Oh, okay, so I can move... Okay, got it. I can move the camera. Okay. Uh, we're going in. What's this? Hmm. Looks like I should unpack my furniture and teaware. Yeah, I guess. So much to do. Why don't I make a to-do list to keep track of it all? Did someone say objectives? Wait, why can't I? There we go. <laughs> unpack teaware, unpack furniture, clear dust is optional? Heck no, we're taking care of that now. How do I... How does... How how do I dust? How does one clear dust? Um, that's for tea making. How do I... How do I do things like that? Okay, there we go. Unpack tea. Ah, okay. Unpack furniture and clear... Let's clear the dust first, even though it's a, optional. Is there... Is that the bed? No. Wait, it shows that there's more dust. Where? Wait, I see it. I see it. Right there. Yes! Okay, good. Oh, Nice monochromatic geometric pattern. Okay. Unpacked. All furniture unpacked. Beautiful. Okay, now what? Uh, tea. Now we can start making some tea. I'm so excited to teach you about tea making. If you want a closer look, scroll into Zoom. And if you want to look around the table, click and drag the scroll wheel button to look around. Let's start by filling the kettle with water. Left click the kettle to pick it up and move it to the water dispenser. Okay, I'm picking this up. And then where's the dispenser though? Ah, right here. Oh, it's even cat shape. That's a cat paw shape. That's adorable. All right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Great. After picking up the kettle, left click the burner to place it on top. The burner will turn on automatically. Okay, so pick this up. I'm guessing this is the burner. Yep. Nope. <laughs> right here. Nope. Uh, what? How? Right here. Okay, I have to physically move it to the correct spot. Okay. If you'd like to see how hot the water is, right-click the kettle for more information. The water should be hot enough when it reaches 70 degrees, I'm assuming Fahrenheit. While we wait for this to boil, let's get the tea ready. Left click the tea caddy lid to open it, then left click the box again to take out a tea bag. Did I say 70 degrees? No, it'll probably be in Celsius, really. 70 degrees Fahrenheit wouldn't be that hot. Anyways, um, okay, so I'm right clicking. Ah, too much. No, stop it. Stop it. No. <laughs> click the tea box. Okay. Um, open. We'll put it right here. How do how how does pick up a tea bag put it in here? Uh, okay, another one right here. Yes, I like my tea with milk and sugar. Mmm, sugar. Okay, you don't want to fill the cup all the way if you're adding more liquids like milk, so be sure to leave a little room. You can see how full the cup is by watching the meter underneath. I'm trying to stop this from boiling. There we go. Goodness. All right. Let's set that down there. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So, see info. Oh gosh, that's really hot liquid. Uh, okay. Hold to pour. Nope. Right here. Hold to pour. Pour. No. Why? Why no? Pick up. Oh, right click. Got it. Okay. 
Uh, and I do not want to fill it all the way because they wanted milk and sugar. Now, let the tea steep. You can see the water start to change color. Once it's done, left click to remove the tea bag and add any other ingredients. Remember, you can scroll up to zoom if you're having trouble seeing it. It's This is highly technical just for making tea. <laughs> oh, I dropped this. This can... Oh, I, I guess I can't do much. I can't return it to the box. Next, we want to add the sugar while the tea's hot so it dissolves faster. Click the sugar bowl to pick up the cubes. I love sugar. Could you please add lots to my cup? If you add too much water, you can right-click and hold the cup to remove liquid. Okay. Nope. I'll leave right here. Get ingredient. Uh, right here. Yep. One. How much is a lot? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put... Okay. Next, let's add the milk. Remember, if you added too much water, you can right-click and hold the cup to remove liquid. That's okay. I first need to... I'm trying to get this tea bag out of the... Right here. No. Get out. Out. Give me the... Give me the... Ooh, you. Okay. Um... Uh, milk? Is this the milk? No? Why is it glowing? What does this mean? What am I doing now? Oh, dear. I can't. Hold on. What is... Oh, here we go. Milk. Hold to pour. Okay. Great job. Finally, let's give everything a good stir. Left-click the spoon to pick it up. Bring it close to the teacup, and then right-click and hold to stir. Okay. Pick up. And stir. Hold. Yeah. Oh, alright. So I have to actually move the mouse. Okay. There. That looks like a pretty sweet cup of tea, if I do say so myself. Thanks. <laughs> when you're happy with the tea you've made, you can present it. While holding the cup of tea, simply left-click to present it. Okay. Before I do that, though, I swear I'm... I cannot... Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, present. Here you go. Enjoy. Yay! Mmm, <laughs> nice and sugary, just the way I like it. That was really difficult. <laughs> the townsfolk of Pico love tea and a good conversation. Don't be surprised if you get visitors at your window who want to say hello and spend some time with you over tea. It is a small town after all. I have a few minutes before I have to head out. Come outside to say bye when you're done. Oh, uh, Taffy. Well, thanks for your time. Is that drawer rattling? How strange. Well, we're gonna leave it closed then. I'm not interested. No, it says I have to open it. Fine. What is it? Oh. Dear newcomer, welcome to Pico. This tea house was my home for many years, and I hope that it feels like that for you, too. For you soon, too. I may be gone, but I hope you find the parts that I've left behind helpful and comforting. You have your work cut out for you, but you are not alone, especially once you receive your first spiritic visitor to the tea house. Best wishes, Che Wan. I wonder who wrote this letter. <laughs> um, I, I, the name is Che Wan. I wonder if they just mean who exactly is that person. Anyways, I guess they also left behind this journal. Looks like it'll come in handy. I'll put it away for now, but click the button in the top right corner of the screen to open it again. All right. Uh, anything else in these drawers? No? Okay. Well, we're closing it then. Why can I not close you? There we go. Uh, we're going to... Oop. Can I... Can I cover up these things? No. No, it's okay. All right, then. Um, here. Out. And hello, Taffy, or goodbye, Taffy. <laughs> How did unpacking go? I found a letter. A letter? For who? Already? Wow, that's impressive. Do you know who Che Won is? Who's it from? Someone named Che Won. A letter from Che Won? Wow. You should talk to Min about that when you have a chance. This has been great, but I gotta run. If you'd like to explore a bit, 
Min should be at her tea house. You can tell her about the letter. Oh, and that reminds me. Something arrived for her and Bongcha was supposed to pick it up. If you're going by anyways, would you drop off this package for me? Sure. Thanks a bunch. Here you go. You received a package from Taffy. Bye for now. Bye. Where do I go from here? Oh, I see. Alright. I guess here, because it's highlighted. Let's go in. Oh, it's adorable. Oh. Are you Bongcha? Min. Hi, uh, Bongcha. How many times have I told you to stop sneaking around and around? Huh. <laughs> I have a feeling that Min might not have, um, hit. He might not have all the marbles in his in his playset or whatever the expression is. Um. Oh, you're not my Bongcha. No, I'm. You're not Taffy either. Where is he? <laughs> Something about the font for this looks like it's an aggressive response. I I'm just gonna pick Taffy. Told me to. Who are you? Sorry, still not open yet. Come back later. I'm new to town. Oh, you're the new resident. I didn't realize that was today. About that. What about that? I found a letter. From who? Che Wan? Well, what does it say? I was hoping you can tell me. You read Min the letter. Why, why sad kitty? No, don't be sad kitty. I think I'm done with our chat now. No! Very busy. Goodbye. What did I say, Min? I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it all back. No. Oh, poor... Um, alright. I guess I'll talk to these two. Oh. Michi? Hello there. You must be our new resident. I'm Michi. And this is... Bongcha. Nice to meet you both. Look at the fish cracker. I love it. <laughs> it's like a fish biscuit, isn't it? Likewise. Sorry about Min. I doubt that was the introduction you were hoping for. No, I'm sorry. Uh, that's not the response I want. <laughs> Bold of you to assume, game, that I would be that apologetic. Well, I, I guess I would be. There's nothing to be sorry for. She's just slow to warm up to new people. Right. That. And you are? I'm James. I play games. <laughs> Great to meet you, and welcome to Pico. What is it? I have a letter and a package. I'm basically your your mailman for the day. Who's the letter from? J1. Oh dear, from Min? For me, actually. Oh, that explains it then. Uh-oh, you have a surprise visage. Why is that? J1 was our dearest friend. And my grandmother. How old are you, Boncha? She passed away five or so years back. Oh no, I'm sorry. I really am sorry now. No, I feel really bad. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Taffy. You put me. I'm already like on awkward footing with the residents. Thanks a lot. We all miss her very much. What's in the letter? Bongcha, don't be rude. What? She was my grandmother. Yeah, why aren't you sad about it? Ugh, fine. Keep it to yourself if you want. Uh, uh... No, no, it's okay. Here. Oh, thanks. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, it felt right. I, I mean, I'm the newcomer here. Yeah, thanks. I guess. This kid. <laughs> Bongcha. Exactly, Michi. Exactly. <laughs> Min and Chewan were very close. She likely feels hurt that there wasn't a letter for her to opening up old wounds and all that. Oh, well now I feel really bad. Here, just take the letter, please. It's not your fault. You did the right thing. Taffy said she might want to see. You must understand, she's old and very set in her ways. She'll come around. What's the package you brought? Oh yeah. Oh, here. You hand the package to Bongcha. Oh, this? Weren't you supposed to pick that up from Taffy? Well, James brought it instead. Problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> Just bong cha. <laughs> Is that your catchphrase, Michi? <laughs> wow. 
What? I know what it is, and it's a duplicate order. I don't actually need it anymore. You know what? Because I'm feeling generous, why don't you take this, James? <laughs> I, I'm far more grateful than, uh, than petulant, so I will say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I have a feeling, though, Bongcha's the opposite. It's getting fairly late. We'll talk to Min. Come back another time. It was good to meet you. Yeah. What auntie said. Okay, so... You... Wait, I, I don't actually know how Min and... Uh, Michi are related. Bye for now. So... Bongcha is related to... Okay. Uh, here's me trying to apply cat genetics for, like, no reason. <laughs> Okay, what's... what else? No, I can head back now. I can't... yeah, I can't do anything else, so I'll just head back to my tea shop. So Che Wan was the previous owner of this tea house. This place must be pretty important to the townsfolk. I wonder how it got to be like this then. It's almost like a haunted house with how run down it looks. It's not that bad. Uh oh, rattling. Eek! Maybe it's more haunted than I thought. I'm sorry for calling your tea house run down. It's actually very charming. Murph? Up here in the teapot. Excuse me? Oh. Phew. Wow, hi. It's been a while since I've said hi to anyone. Are you Taewon Tea Sprite? A uh, ghost? That's silly. <laughs> in this world of bipedal cats, you believe in ghosts, you crazy person, you? Don't be scared, I'm here to help you. Maybe you've heard of me. Or maybe one of my cousins? Nope, still nothing. <sighs> well, I'm a tea sprite. Yes, that makes all- <laughs> makes much more sense. Oh, <laughs> This is what I imagined that to sound like. Yeah, cool, right? Uh, I'm enthusiastic about it, totally. I wanted to say hi and introduce myself. Tea sprites are all over Pico. Each tea house has their very own patron tea sprite. And... I'm yours! <laughs> great to meet you. It is great to meet me, isn't it? Oh, well now do you say that, no. I take it back. I was asleep for a really long time. A lot seems to have changed. It's a little more run down than I remember. I've been here a long time though. I helped the previous owner. Che Wan? Yeah! How'd you know? She left me a note. Ghost note! Nope, just a regular one. Oh, I guess she wrote it before she passed away. Well, I'm here to help and assist you on your tea making journey here in Pico. I hope you've had a good time exploring the town today. I mean, I didn't really explore that much. I figure I'd let you in on a little secret. Secret? Do tell. Secret's a strong word. A tip, more like. Anyways... What I wanted to talk to you about is tea points. Ooh. <laughs> what are TPs? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Tea points are super important. With every cup of tea, you generate energy with your intent. We refer to them as tea points, which are affected by the ingredients you use, the time of day you make it, and who you make it for. Your tea points help to support and sustain the town. You can use your points for upgrades to your tea house or tea making. Keep in mind that you can only earn so many tea points per day though. But don't worry, you'll be swimming in tea points in no time. Questions? Let's say no. <laughs> Neat, huh? So, uh, not to be rude or anything. That's fine, go on. We really need some tea points here so we can get some upgrades here ASAP. I want you to collect 50 tea points. 50 as in 5-0 tea sprite, you dare. Don't worry, it'll be easy teasy. Ugh. I see what you did there. We'll start bright and early in the morning. Say, while you were gone, one more package got delivered for you. I took a peek in the box. It's a pillow! Yes! I need a new one. When you're ready to sleep, click on your bed to call it a day. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Uh, bye for now, James. No, you can come stay with me. You don't have to. You don't have to seclude yourself to the upper levels. You can come down. Stay. Okay, I guess you don't wanna. Um. In please. In. 
May I go in? No? How does... How does... Oop. Why... Why no work? Why... Open? Is there... Did I miss something? Wait. No, I... Uh-oh. Did I break the game? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh dear, I might need to restart this. Unless there's something else that I'm missing. I don't... No. Hello. No. Nothing. Nothing at all. Maybe I'm opening it from the wrong way. Am I meant to... Zoom into the door? <laughs> and can I open it now? No. I know, I know you want me to open your door, I just, I can't do it. Hello. Oh dear, okay. Let's... Hmm. There's nothing else that seems highlighted or clickable. Oop. Oh, that's the number of T-points, okay. But that's nothing I can do right now. Is the door barred? Okay, let's restart. Okay, so... Oh, now the door works. Alright. Well, let's go in. And... Um, let me go... Can I do anything with... This? No. Okay. That's okay. Go into my really tiny room. <laughs> and go right to bed. Day one of spring. Year one. On a Sunday, no less. Alright then. Um, but... Doesn't seem like I have any cu Oh, I was gonna say I don't have any customers. Good morning, James. I love the morning. Getting up bright and early makes me excited for the possibilities of the day ahead. <laughs> Clever. How about you? Are you a morning person? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Sleeping in can be good too. But it's your first full day here in Pico and I'm sure you want to explore. I have to get going and deliver the rest of the mail, but I have a letter for you. It's in your mailbox. And I don't mean to be a snoop, but I couldn't help but notice that you still have that package I asked you to, to deliver. Uh, <laughs> what of it? No. Yep. Was there a problem? Nope. Bong Cha gave it to me. That was really nice of her. Her. Got it. Okay. What do I do with it? You should visit Yorn. He's great with furniture and could probably help. He's our resident potter and carpenter. He lives just outside of town. He could be a little grumpy if you stop by while he's working, but that's normal for him. He's not in town at the moment, but he's just one of many cats you'll get to meet in the future. If you've got time later, you should stop by the post office. Okay, I really gotta run now. Talk in a bit. Bye! Okay, so mailbox. Sup, James. <laughs> Sup. Min feels like really bad about being so rude to you yesterday. She made me write this letter telling you to come over for some tea. She's telling me to say, we got off on the wrong paw. So yeah, that's it. See you around. <laughs> Won't ya? Okay. So go visit her is what you're, what you're telling me. No, that, okay. I'll go visit. Um... Who's this, then? Oh, this is the post office. Okay. Hi, Taffy. Hi, James. You came by. I just finished up my mail route. Getting everyone their mail in a timely fashion is a very important job. Big packages, small packages, flyers, bills. Ugh. But my favorite is delivering letters. Oh. Who doesn't love getting a letter? It's great. I love mail. You can tell a lot about someone from a single letter. The paper, the envelope, the crinkling sound the paper makes, and of course, the content. <laughs> Hashtag content. And everything has to come through here first. This post office was previously run by my great-grandma Toffee. Working here was her pride and joy. Oh, I get it. Toffee Taffy. Oh, okay, cute. The whole town knew and loved getting to know her as she delivered their mail. Speaking of getting to know people, how do you take your tea? Straight up. Huh, no option for milk here. But no, genuinely I drink tea black. Straight up. All that running around town has made me thirsty and I'd love a drink. I like my tea very sweet, I know. <laughs> I prepared it for you. 
It's very important to remember these things. I just love tea, don't you? As it so happens, I was about to have some. Since you're here, come inside and have a cup with me. Yay! Sure. Um, right here, I guess. I can't wait to take a sip of this tea. My family sent it to me. It always reminds me of home. And remember, I take three cubes of sugar with mine. Why am I preparing it in your <laughs> when it's your plate? Whatever. I've already taken everything out for you. Well, everything is set up in exactly, almost exactly the same way. That's quite convenient. Okay, set. Water. Oh, I didn't take off the cover awkwardly. Okay. Okay, enough. All right. We will set this on the right here. Let it burn. We'll open this. Plop in a bag. 70 degrees. Making tea for cats. Making tea for cats. Tea for cats. Tea for cats. Do -do -do -do. Stop. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, you do. Oh, yeah. So you pour. Hold the pour. Uh, I'm just gonna do maybe three quarters of the way. Okay. That can go down. We'll set. Oh. We'll cover the tea. Cover the tea. Cover. Nope. Uh, how close. There we go. Open. Put it right here. One. Two. Three. And then the milk. Basically just to fill the cup. Okay. Pick up the stir. Okay, that should be enough. Set it back down. Uh, oh, I didn't remove the tea. Darn it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, here's your tea. Here you go. I'm sure it's perfect. Let's find out. Yay! Great! Thank you, player! <laughs> I think it meant to say my name there. That's interesting. Although... Oh, what did I do? I appreciate the effort, but let me give you some tips for next time. When someone tells their likes and dislikes, it's good and polite to remember their preferences. Especially in a small town like Pico. What do you mean by preferences? I thought you said you wanted it sweet. Three cubes and milk. Excellent question. <laughs> remember I told you that I like my tea sweet? That's something that will never change. Things like sweetness, yum, flavor, and strength are other types of preferences you might encounter. From time to time, you'll meet other cats with their own preferences. You can keep track of them in your journal. Some cats know exactly what they want. Others might want a suggestion from you. Getting a preference right when you make someone tea earns you big time. And by that, I mean that you get something even better than money. Double the money? You get friendship. Oh no, that's nothing. Forget it. <laughs> I'm out of this tea game. <laughs> Actually, no, it's cat friendship. That is very precious and uh, almost ephemeral, so sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Every time you make tea the way that they like it, you get points. Is it tea points by any chance? But be careful because it also works the other way around. If you give someone something they don't like, it can negatively impact your friendship. I'd never do anything to negatively impact my friendships. I'm usually too busy to spend a lot of time with people anyways. But I like to think I'm Pico's friend. I'm here for everyone and anyone, anytime. It's the Bartholomew way. Oh, cute. So remember preferences for next time you make tea for someone. What did I make wrong for you, Taffy? I made it exactly the same- well... Barring random steps aside, I think I made it exactly- I think- I think I did a good job. <laughs> I think you're being very picky about this, Taffy. You dare. Oh dear, look at the time. I need to head out and run a time-sensitive errand. Thanks for everything, James. Yeah, sure, sure thing. That I, I love going to people's places to make tea for them. So, a sound tea with cow milk. Uh, steep time, 9 minutes 14. And tea. Okay, so it looks that looks like a recipe. Okay, great. Um... Let's cover the sugar. Yep, close. Uh, and I, I think I think that's everything. 
Yeah, that's everything I can do for now. So let's get out of here. So I was supposed to go visit Min. Uh, that right here. Boncha. Oh, hey, James. Is that a backpack or is that meant to be a snack you're holding in your... No, it, maybe it's just a like a cross crossbody bag. What are you doing here? You invited me. Oh, right. I sent you that letter. Huh. Well, thanks for coming, I guess. <laughs> I don't see an option for... I don't see, like, a, a, um, a snappy response. So, I don't know. This doesn't feel realistic all of a sudden. <laughs> in, in this game with bipedal talking cats drinking tea, it doesn't feel realistic that I can't have a snappy comeback. You're welcome. No problemo. So, uh, Min? Oh, she's inside. Should I? See you later. Well, you were helpful. As in, useless. Min, I'm on my way to you. Hello. It's you, James, isn't it? I take it you got my request? <laughs> Do I want to mess with her? No, I feel really bad. I did. Ah. <sighs> When you're a young kitten, you want time to go faster so you can be older. But then as you get older, all you want is for things to slow down. I can't keep up anymore. Oh, Min, you're... I, I am certainly of that age where I absolutely embody that philosophy. It is too real and too scary right now to believe that. Oh, Min. Michi is much better at that than me. I suppose an apology is in order. Okay, go on. Go on. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't hear you apologize. <laughs> I'm not apologizing. <laughs> Is that all I'm getting? I see. Would you like some tea? I guess I could let you try some of my tea. I see Bongcha set out my blooming tea. And my favorite glass teapot. It's simple. It's simple, yes. But you'd be a fool to not understand the real magic is watching the tea itself. I assume you haven't used a teapot before. So make sure to take the lid off. There's already water in the kettle, so no need to add more. Right-click the heater to get the water boiling. And be sure to put one pellet of the blooming tea to the teapot before adding the boiled water. Okay, so I need to right-click this to turn it on. Oh, wait. This is the... Oh. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, open this. Plop it in. Remove the lid first. Oh, remove lid. What's the temperature? Okay, very close. So let's dunk this tea bag in. Uh, 70, okay, okay. Uh, pour. All the way, is my guess. Yep, we will, I'm not going to put you back on the burner. We'll cover... Oop. Do I need to let this sit... Oop. Oh, yeah, wait. It, it changed. Okay, good. Blooming Ceylon. Okay, so I can remove the tea bag now. Uh, I can't put back the lid, but I am going to pour it into the cup. All the way. A nice, full, warm, well, hot cup of tea. I suppose I'll stir it. Okay. Totally. And now, to present it. Here you go, kitty. Blooming tea is also known as flowering tea. It is a favorite of mine. It's an aromatic, floral tea that still reminds me of where I grew up. And its smell hasn't changed even after all these years. Sounds delicious. Mmm. You took care of making it. Maybe you are capable of running a tea house. Time will tell. I suppose you can come back and visit again sometime. Goodbye. Sassy grandma. I love it. Ceylon tea. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Mm, I think that's pretty much it. Leave. Oh. Out. Okay, there we go. And then out again. 
Okay. I don't think I can go anywhere else. 65 points. Oh! I made... Um, the T sprite needed 50 points, so I made 65 T points. That's helpful for something, right? Now, how do I take advantage of those points? Okay, let's just go back in here. Um, journal. Here we go. Zero out of... Oh. <laughs> I didn't earn any TP. Darn it. Well, well, I guess my day is done for now. <laughs> You've gained 65 T points. Yay! Right, so I have to sleep in order to register the T points. I won't be able to use them until the day after. Can I go see you now? Here we go. Whoa, James! Welcome back home, and wow, wow, wow! Look at you, meeting other townspeople. Making lots of tea. Earning those tea points. You've got 65. Whoa! The more tea points you gain, the more it helps the overall town. What a wonderful adventure you've had here in Pico playing the demo. Uh, why did I say that? Demo? Weird. It's so self-referential, I, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, now that I'm awake, I'm looking forward to getting to know you better when you play the full game. It looks like you've learned everything there is to know about Pico, for now. I hope you come back to visit soon. Thanks for playing the demo, James. Bye for now. Uh. Well, hey, that was James playing the demo for Pico, the tea cafe uh, sim. <laughs> I guess you could say tea making tea making sim for cat customers. Making the tea was a very involved and technical process that I think they're probably going to add upon again as of recording. The official release date for the game has not been announced yet, uh, but you can download the demo from Steam if you're interested in trying it out for yourself. I found it to be very relaxing and chill and adorable all the same. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and until then, do take care.